This video will explain a little bit about what I want to do after graduation and the career field I'll be working in. With a bachelor's degree in agricultural engineering technologies, students learn the ins and outs of the production and sales of ag power machinery. This is a vital career path because the agricultural industry is so huge, we'll always need people to work and specialize in it. First and foremost, my degree teaches students about how to identify and use agricultural equipment from tractors to handheld operational tools. All equipment used to make the job easier in construction and farming alike fall into the category of ag equipment. Without people who specialize in ag equipment, the agricultural industry would not be able to be as efficient as it is today. After graduation, I plan to get a job with an ag power and equipment manufacturing company. This first picture here shows a John Deere parts store. John Deere is probably the most well-known machinery company there is today. They specialize in high quality tractors with super engines. John Deere product products are long lasting because the engine technology they have is ahead of the competitions. It's er it takes the finest engineers to design an engine that runs as efficiently as John Deere's do. One of the biggest engines that John Deere has to offer is a 500 horsepower engine called the 9520 RT tractor. This next picture shows Mustang Cat headquarters in Houston, Texas. Cat specializes in construction machinery and use cat and use cat power equipment such as generators and engines for pumps and uh, also fracking technologies. <clears throat> the interesting thing about Mustang Cat is that they basically built the city of Houston. They started out as a small business in 1952 and then they established themselves and then later became the most reliable and easy access machinery manufacturers. Since the headquarters was in Houston, the city used all their equipment to build the roads and overpasses such as Grand Parkway and Beltway 8. This picture shows some of the hands-on skills we learn in ag engineering technology. <coughs> Here this is a picture of a man doing some welding. In class we use all sorts of metal and woodworking tools to better understand the industry and how things are made. Most students that go on to graduate with this degree see a lot of time in the shop, either overseeing or working alongside the builders, making sure things are getting fabricated the way the blueprints state. The next picture here is of a simple engine. I hope to specialize in thermodynamics after graduation. I'm really interested in engines and the power that they have. Ag engineering technology teaches us about combustion and how every part of the engine works to move equipment. Engines are a crucial part to any performance machinery. Without a well-functioning engine, you will not get the efficiency you need. There are a lot of engine technologies out there that aids in the process of agriculture, as well as many varieties to be more fuel efficient and release less pollution into our atmosphere. Engine technology is one of the vaster focuses of this degree. Lastly, sales is of huge importance to my major. We learn a lot about marketing and business. Not only is it the actual creating of machines important, but getting them sold is it as well. Without marketing skills, it is hard to be successful at any job. The main goal of building and creating ag power equipment is getting it sold for revenue. If you're not selling products, you aren't making money. We learn how to talk professionally with business, with business people, and we also learn how to advertise. In my career field, I'll have to work in sales on occasion. I'll have to build a customer base and make sure I'm on top of my knowledge of the products that I'm selling. We get a lot of representatives from different companies that come tell us about job opportunities and how their businesses operate. I hope to get to do this one day as it has opened my eyes and made me realize things 
I didn't even really know existed. So for this last picture, I put a handshake between two men signifying the closing of a cell.